Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this episode of G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And as you can see out the window, we have rain clouds everywhere. And uh, it's been sprinkling on and off. Uh, last night, probably around 2.45, uh, I heard the loud pounding of really large, heavy raindrops pounding on the roof of the cabin. Woke me up. I got up and looked outside, and it was coming down pretty good, but it only lasted five minutes, and uh, then it was gone. And we didn't get anything more until uh, this afternoon around uh, 3 o'clock or so. Got some light sprinkles, and then again at 4 o'clock, you know, 4.30 or so, we got a couple of light sprinkles. But other than that, um, it's been going around me, as you can see out there. And... Uh, I've been working inside of the container all day, getting my electrical runs done, got my lighting in, got switches just inside the door, I got uh, electrical outlets along both sides by the uh, tools at the workbenches, so I don't have to use extension cords anymore, so I wound those up. Now it's time to get things organized in there to where I can work comfortably in there without <clears throat> any problems. And uh, the wind was coming from the back sides of the container, so I could work in there with the door open today, and uh, I could get some things done. But I was stepping over stuff and having to move stuff to get the ladder into place. What a pain in the neck. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. And then uh, next, uh, if you noticed two days ago, I was talking about sprouting um, garlic cloves. So that you can plant, I can plant those and regrow, regrow garlic bulbs. Because, um, I use garlic in a lot of my uh, cooking. Well, I got a couple of comments about uh, uh, my statement about I like to peel them and soak them in water before planting them. And uh, some people said, well, you don't have to do that. You can plant them directly in the soil and they'll grow. Yes, that is true. They will do that. But. The way I do them by soaking them in water first is a much faster way, uh, also peeling them, it's a much faster way of getting them to sprout so that you can grow them faster. Now, remember, garlic should be planted in the early spring or fall so that you have a, a, a good period of time for them to grow before it gets too hot out. Well, two days ago, I showed you me putting in some um, garlic cloves in the water. Uh, and getting them ready. So here we go. There they are. They're, they've all got roots and they've all sprouted. So they're ready to take outside and transplant already and I'll be doing that tomorrow. So this is why I do them this way because I like to grow things fast and efficiently. I could have just stuck these in the soil. But this would have taken about uh, a week for them to get to this point. It's faster this way. And there's my celery. You can see it's uh, fluffing up pretty good there. So I just wait until the, uh, I get some rooting on the bottom of that, and that'll go in. I also ordered a new product. I mentioned that. Um, I, I ordered a new product that I saw on TV. I checked it out on the Internet, did some research, and I said, well, I'm going to give that a try. So I ordered some of that. I got an email from them today and said it will be here in two days. So I'm going to try that stuff, and they say that I can mix it in uh, some water and s set things like that in there, and the roots will sprout in miraculous time. So we'll try that and see how that works, and I will do a video on that, and we'll see where we go from there. All right, so we're going to turn around here, and I'm not going outside because, as you can see, the wind has blown 16 to 26, so it just jumped up to 20 mile an hour gust right there. And it's 61 degrees with 56% humidity outside. It's not real pleasant out there. So I've locked everything up already. I'm uh, sitting in here. I just uh, popped myself a beer and I'm going to make some uh, dinner and watch some TV because it's not, not real pleasant out there. That's all for today. Just a short little video. Um, that's my windproof microphone. I'm not even going to attempt to try that out there. Uh, yesterday a big dust devil blew past here 
at uh, 36 miles per hour. I was talking to my friend Bill on the phone, and uh, I, he just answered the phone when the thing hit, and oh my God, this whole place shook. It was so powerful. And I looked outside, and the dust was as wide as my property cutting across here. Oh, I'd say it had to be a good quarter mile across, a giant dust devil. And then that went through, and as I was telling him about it, a second one came through, not quite as big, but fairly good size uh, as it was, and the same direction, heading in the same direction. And I went outside to see if I could catch it on video, and uh, all of a sudden I got rained on. <laughs> it was just weird weather yesterday, really unsettled. All right, everybody. A reminder, please give me a thumbs up down there and watching my videos. I appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed already, um, for a limited time only, it is free. So um, make sure you get in there and subscribe. Click the subscribe button. And when the little bell notification comes up, click on that. And that will give you a notification by email every time I post a new video. That way you won't be missing out on anything. G-Bear, signing off.